This is the Adventure Brothers. Brothers who go on educational adventures. Let's get started. Welcome back to the Adventure Brothers. I'm Cobra. I'm Frog. Today we're learning about the difference between crickets and grasshoppers. Grasshoppers! The reason is because we found a grasshopper this morning. And we were wondering, is this a grasshopper or a cricket? We just had to find out. So we investigated. We found out what we caught was a grasshopper. Super cool. But then we wondered, could we find a cricket? So we went on an adventure in our own backyard. The crickets are loud around here. We just listened for when they made the sounds. And we crept up on them and caught a cricket. Victory! We caught three grasshoppers today and one cricket. It is going to be perfect for learning about the differences. Crickets usually have a flattened body and long antenna. They're usually brown or black in color. And this is kind of weird. Although they have wings, they could not fly. Grasshoppers have a more, more cylinder shape. It's more rounded. They have short antenna and large hind legs made for jumping. Grasshoppers are known for bright colors, which often includes shades of green and brown. But the ones we caught were orange. Some grasshoppers have well-developed wings that allow them to fly. Where do they live? Crickets like moist environments, like fields, meadows, and forests. They like to be around water and lots of plants. Crickets are found worldwide, except for polar regions. Grasshoppers, on the other hand, are found in dry habitats. They're well adapted for hot and dry conditions. Grasshoppers are across very different regions that are dry and warm. I guess our property has some of both. They both make sound, but they're different and their purposes are different. Male crickets make a chirping sound by rubbing their wings together. They use these sounds to primarily attract mates. Grasshoppers produce sounds by rubbing their hind legs against their wings. Their sounds are short and repetitive. They mainly do this to warn predators. What do they eat? Crickets are omnivores. They eat on plants, decaying matter, occasionally other insects. They can even exhibit some scavenging behaviors. That means that they eat things that are dead and help take care of them. And grasshoppers eat mainly plants. They are herbivores feeding on grass, leaves, and crops. But there are some grasshoppers that are omnivores and occasionally eat small insects but most are herbivores, meaning they only eat plants. Let's talk about their life cycle. Both crickets and grasshoppers undergo incomplete metamorphosis, which means they have three stages, egg, nymph, and adult. Crickets lay their eggs in soil. The nymphs that hatch, they look like smaller versions of the adults. The nymphs undergo a series of molts before they reach adulthood. That means they shed. Grasshoppers, the nymphs undergo several molts and develop wings as they grow. It's fact time, first for crickets. Fact number one, there's over 900 species of crickets. <laughs> awesome. That's a whole lot. Fact number two, the sound of a cricket's chirp can be used to estimate the temperature outside. The higher the pitch and the faster they are together, the warmer the temperature. Fact number three, crickets have long antenna that they use to sense their surroundings. Fact number four, Many cultures consider the cricket as a symbol of good luck. The appearance of a black cricket in Chinese culture symbolizes knowledge. Fact number five. You may have guessed it. Crickets have powerful hind legs, which allows them to jump great distances. How far can they jump, Cobra? Three feet, frog. How high can they get jump, Cobra? 50 to 60 times its body length. Whoa! Whoa! Now time for a few facts of our grasshoppers. Fact number one. The grasshopper can also jump far. How far can a grasshopper jump, Cobra? It could jump two and a half feet, Frog. Wow. How high can a grasshopper jump, Frog? Whoa, Cobra. About 20 times its own length. Mm. Fact number two about grasshoppers. <laughs> grasshoppers have two pairs of wings. The front wings are thick and leathery, while the back wings are thin and used to fly. Fact number three. Grasshoppers have large compound eyes that allow them to see in many directions. What's a compound eye? A compound eye is made up of lots of little eyes. Well, that's cool. Fact number four. 
They can turn their heads 180 degrees, which helps them spot predators with all those eyes. Fact number five for grasshoppers. This is a neat one. Grasshoppers can grow back their legs depending on the damage to them. They regenerate lost limbs sometimes, but this only happens before they're an adult. Once they're completely mature, they cannot replace lost limbs. It's joke time. <laughs> I've got one. I tried to tell, tell a joke on the Adventure Brothers, but all I heard was crickets. I have one about grasshoppers. Here's my joke. What kind of music did grasshoppers invent? What frog? Hip-hop. Beatles didn't come up with everything. Thank you for joining us on the show today. Would you be able to tell between a grasshopper and a cricket? I hope you do now. If this video helped, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Jump, jump it up like a cricket on a dance floor. Wait, or a grasshopper. <laughs>